Okay, so I've had a lot of questions on raid versus shift and how do you know if it's going to be a raid or a shift? Um, I believe mostly for entry purposes for people who are obviously looking for entries rather than direction for whatever reason. But what I will say is if you want to know the difference between a raid and a shift, the number one rule is obviously time. But the second rule is... um. What trend are you in? You need to know the trend to understand what a raid is. If you don't know the trend, you're not going to know what a raid is. If you don't know the draw, you're not going to know what a raid is. So where is the draw? That should be the question you're looking for. And then everything else is going to make a lot more sense. You got this example here. You have a purge on liquidity sell side when price runs above the breaker here that is a true market structure shift reason being is because this is the draw on liquidity the reason why this would be the draw is because we're reaching for something higher so looking at this this would be a raid that low that went is a raid. So all this would be a raid. This would be the shift. Looking in this fractal here, and I'm going to put a box around it for you guys. This fractal here. This wouldn't be a market structure shift. This would be a raid like you see here. I know a lot of people who will confuse this with a shift, um, but this would be a raid. You know why? Because the drawn liquidity is up here. So any run beneath a low would be a raid, not a shift. This is case one. This is really good to understand is because the question a lot of people have to understand is, well, where's the draw? Because if you know the draw, you can spot raids easily, easily. Okay, so this is going to be case two. Looking at this example here, you have a run on buy side here and here. And then price shifts to the downside. This would be a true market structure shift because our draws on liquidity are lower. But not just these lows. Lower. So understanding narrative and drawing liquidity and then low hanging fruit. So this would be a real market structure shift because our draws on liquidity are way lower. The trick is, is where is the draw? Because once you know the draw, you know what a rate is. So looking at the right side of this curve, you should see a pop above an old high. Now, we're on the five minute, but if you were on the one minute, some people would mistake that for a shift. This right here is not a shift. I know a lot of people would call it a shift because in their eyes, we took sell side here, shifted up. We have fair gap up there. They think it's probably a deeper retracement, but they're lacking time for one. And then narrative. This is a 1050 to 1110 macro. The draw on liquidity is down here and then, and then way further. N any run above an old high like this, it's not a shift. So the, the, the moral of the story is, is the people who are asking about um, rating shifts and how do you know, it starts with the draw on liquidity. So if you can find the draw on liquidity, which I do teach, it's on this channel, then you know what a, a raid is versus a shift. Because every time it raids liquidity, like this, every time it raids, it has a market structure shift 
right after it a real shift so this would be the shift here this would be the shift here after every single raid there will be a shift and a part of it is understanding judas so the reason why your raids even occur is because judas swings you have to understand judas swings too a judas swing is basically if price runs in a direction that's not real trying to get people to um buy so if price is running up it's trying to get everyone to buy and it's knocking out a lot of birds with one stone so it's running by side getting people to buy stopping people who are already short and then just fooling people in general and then the shift happens just like right here it's running in the opposite direction stopping people out here it's getting people to go long and it's also rebalancing price here so it's doing a lot of different things at one when sitting for the judas but once you see the judas happen and then the shift is right after it this would be case two looking at this example um you should be able to see it but this right here is clearly 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 a raid okay this is the true market structure shift here as you can see price stayed under the breaker um i do want to point that out so you can clearly see the liquidity is here um also this isn't the draw this is just getting blown past regardless but the draw is actually more down there but knowing the draw and liquidity is going to help you understand a rate versus shift so we pop above an old high here and obviously some sort of older high over here we pop above this high and obviously um some older highs and then the shift happens right after keeping under the breaker so that's key it's just you have two options here you can either sell these buy stops and you can sell this which obviously i do not do i don't advise anyone doing that i don't do that but people do do that i have done it now i don't obviously try to do it but narrative is key because if you're looking lower like yeah these guys ran here but if you're looking lower for whatever lower objectives you're looking for and i can help you find that a run above old highs which is his son's model um, you can sell these if you're looking down here and price pops above old highs you can sell this yes it's risky obviously but that's why I don't do it but it takes a lot of narrative and understanding where you're at in the market so you can apply these to your macros you can apply these to your silver bullets um, you can really apply these to any time frame um, I'm on the five you can do this for one shot one kill the the concept is what a lot of people don't understand. Just understanding the concept alone of a raid versus shift, you need to know narrative. Um, if you guys want, I did post um, a free video, my uh, revamp, which is down below in the description. So we have a lot of free members joining. You guys should join. I will post um, free educational videos. I'm slowly kind of walking away from YouTube not for any reason intentionally i'm just walking away slowly focus on my group for um 2024 but uh if you guys want to know what macros to trade what silver bullets to trade when to avoid bad silver bullets when to avoid bad macros and just know ahead of time so like let's say you want to learn what macro to trade instead of sitting at your chart all damn day hoping you get a rate and shift because i know a lot of people are doing that or maybe sitting down for the silver bullet and it doesn't pan out it just consolidates <laughs> because i know a lot of people are doing that you can't join the revamp i do teach that and i teach how to use your roadmap so all of it is off the heels of your roadmap your roadmap is your economic calendar your economic calendar is forexfactory.com. Knowing how to use 
forexfactory.com is literally going to change your trading upside down and i promise you you can't pot you can't pay anyone to figure this shit out you cannot beg anyone to figure this out because no one knows if you study ict content and you are the perfect student you would arrive at these results on how to actually use your roadmap so you can do it but I teach it in there already. Um, ICT, he doesn't teach how to use your roadmap. He he does tell you, I believe in Twitter spaces, but he doesn't actually tell you how to use them. He That's for your study. You know, if you study the economic calendar and what occurs at these events and after and how to use time and price, you will know exactly how to use your roadmap. And the only reason why I'm saying this is because you want to know what a rate versus shift is, don't you? Your one shot, one kills, your session trades, scalping. You want to know what a rate versus shift is, right? You're going to need to understand your roadmap. Now, you can study that, but I have it in the link below in the Patreon.